Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Matt Modi here with Odds Jam. And in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is talking to you about the difference between a prize picks flex play, which is for three, four, five, and six picks, prize picks flex, and an underdog insurance, which you can do for um, three, four, and five pick plays for insurance. They mean the same thing, right? In terms of how it works um, for so for prize picks for underdog, I'm, I'm assuming everybody's aware it's basically like a player prop parlay. Generally, in sports betting terms of like a parlay on a DraftKings, on a FanDuel, you place multiple bets encapsulated into one. And if one of them loses, then you lose your entire risk. And then, of course, the more you add, the higher the payout is. That's essentially what underdog and prize picks are like. But one key difference is that both of these books offer a flex slash insurance option where you can still lose one of your legs and not lose the entirety of your risk. So obviously the logic for doing that is your payout's lower. So for like a three pick one on prize picks, the max you can do, or excuse me, this is underdog, excuse me, a three pick one for underdog. The max you can do is double your money. So when it says three X, that includes your risk. So like it's 10 bucks to get a total payout of 30. So in this case, you're profiting 20 bucks. So your profit is 2X. It goes from 2X for an insurance all the way up to 5X without the insurance. So if you hit all three, you basically five times your money without the insurance. But obviously if you lose one, you lose all of your risk. So with underdog, if you lose one, you get your risk back. You don't profit, but you at least get your risk back if you lose one. So that's how it works, right? It's basically giving you the option of still losing one of your legs and not losing the entirety of your risk. Price picks, the payout is a little bit different, which we will get into. Um, and I'm just here to talk to you kind of about the differences and the similarities between them. So in terms of how price picks and underdog work, like if, um, if we're just talking straight up, which I will briefly speak to, both sports books, if you hit a two leg one, you double your money which just means in sports betting lingo, plus 200. That's where the plus 200 odds come from. So for each one, if you hit a two leg one, you double your money. They differ on four, on, excuse me, on three legs. They differ on three legs. For prize picks, if you hit a three leg entry with no insurance, with no flex, you four X your money. With underdog, you five X your money. So in terms of profitability, it's better to do a three pick one on underdog and you shouldn't do it a three pick one on prize picks. When it comes to four legs, they match again. You will nine X your money if you hit a four leg one on both prize picks and underdog. So in terms of the payout on the straight up ones, the only difference is with three picks and you should really never do a three pick on prize picks three pick is actually the most profitable on underdog if we're just talking straight up not without the flex now the flex is obviously incredibly important the flex the insurance so let's talk about the difference between the two of them starting with prize picks so i have up the math here and i'm going to go for three picks on each four picks on each five picks on each hopefully it's not too confusing going through it um so for prize picks for um a three pick flex you need to remember when you're talking about the payout, you need to remove the, um, or the, the profit, you just subtract one because this includes the total payout. So for a three pick one on prize picks, if you lose um, one of your legs, you will basically make a quarter back of what your risk is. So I would profit $4 in this case. I wouldn't quite lose money, so I wouldn't lose money, but I would only profit a quarter of what I put in. So I'd profit What's this? Two dollars and fifty cents on this one, which is a quarter. Um, if I win all three, I will two point two five x my money. The payout will be so I will get a total payout or total profit. Excuse me, of one point two five x. So if you want to compare the difference between underdog and prize picks, for underdog, if you only hit one, you will basically you only get your money back. Whereas with prize picks, you at least get a quarter of profit. Right? So 10 bucks, you'll get a profit of $2.50. But the key difference is if you win all three, you will double your money on underdog and you will only 1.25x your money on price pick. So it's a pretty big difference in terms of the payout if you win all three of your legs on each one. So which one's better? So in terms of profitability, the math is actually much, much more favorable with a three pick flex 
on underdog than it is with prize picks. So let's chat about it. With prize picks, and this is assuming a player prop win percentage of 60%. Um, this is based on the win percentage of the player prop itself. So like, what's the percent chance of your player prop winning? So we're just using 60 as kind of like a blind number. The expected value on a power play given 60% win percentage is 8%. So these are in terms of percents, 8%. On a flex play, that goes all the way down to 2.6%. Now the math is all here. And I actually went over the math of each of these legs individually in a separate video. So if you're confused about how the math works, I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail in this video because I've already done that. In this video, I'm more just comparing the two and telling you what's better. So the EV percent of a three pick one is down to 2.6%, which is really bad. On an underdog one, the EV percent of the um, insurance is at 8%. So in terms of the insurance versus flex on price picks versus underdog, it's significantly more profitable on underdog. Um, the math, again, is all here. You can see a bunch of formulas and stuff. All you need to know is that the insurance is significantly better with three legs on underdog than it is on price picks. What I will say is that in terms of profitability, if we're just to looking at underdog and we're not comparing price picks, it's actually better um, to do it without insurance than it is with insurance. Um, the implied odds per individual leg without insurance, as I mentioned, um, like this is given a 5x payout is minus 122. Um, the implied odds with the insurance jumps up all the way up to minus 137. So yes, it is better to do insurance on underdog than it is on prize picks. But if we're just looking straight up on underdog, it's actually more profitable to play a three leg one straight up. So to keep in mind, so to recap, to answer the question, what's what's better, a, pri a three leg prize picks flex play or an underdog um, insurance play, underdog is significantly better than prize picks. Next up, we are looking at a four leg one. So if we add another leg, the flex play on prize picks, you'll basically uh, want your 0.5x in terms of profit. So your payout will be 1.5x. So like if I placed 10 bucks and I lost one of my legs, so the other three hit, I would profit $5. I'll get a total payout of 15. If I hit all five, I would 4x my money, so 10 bucks. They would give me back 50. You subtract my initial risk of 10, I profit $40. That's the math behind a flex play on price fix. Let's talk about underdog. So the payout on a uh, winning three out of four is the exact same, 1.5x. So $10 turns into uh, $5 in profit, 15 in payout if you lose one of your legs. But the key, key difference here is the payout goes from 6x on underdog. So you're basically 5xing your money in terms of profit. You're risking $10 to get a payout of 60. You're profiting $50. On prize picks, you're only profiting $40. So right off the bat, I don't even need to show you the math because the payout is the exact same if you lose one play, but the payout is significantly, excuse me, significantly better if you win all four on underdog. I mean, significantly like like one X of your risk back. That's a pretty big deal over the course of time, right? So on prize picks, you only get a payout of five X. If you hit all of them on underdog, you get a payout of six X. So I don't even need to tell you, go through the math of each, of each one. You already know off the bat in terms of what's better, a four pick flex play on prize picks or a four pick insurance play on underdog. Underdog is significantly better. Now on prize picks, in terms of, let's not compare the two. Let's just look at prize picks. If we want to go back on a 60% win percentage, the uh, profitability is actually better on a power play. Like again, if we're assuming 60% win probability, the EV percent is at like just below 30% on straight up on uh, prize picks. Or yeah, on excuse me, on a, on a flex play, it's down to 16.64. So it's still better than a three pick one. So that's another example of why you should never do a three pick one. But in terms of value, it's actually better if you do it straight up on prize picks than as opposed to a flex. Now an underdog, that's not the case, right? If you want to go um, the underdog, go back to a 60% win percentage, the EV is is higher, right? It goes about 30% on uh, without, or excuse me, with insurance on underdog versus only 16.64 with insurance on price picks. That makes sense, right? We already knew price picks or we, yeah, price picks was worse. We already knew that, but it's actually better value. And again, I go through the math on this 
in a previous video, but it's actually better value on underdog to play with insurance than without, right? Like if we go back to the initial sheet, nine Xing your money basically means implied odds of an individual leg of minus 128. That actually goes down to minus 122 with a four pick insurance on underdog. So underdog, it's actually more value, more profitable to do the insurance on four legs when it's not on prize picks. And if we compare the two, the payout is significantly better on underdog than it is on price picks. So that's four legs. Last one, let's talk about five legs. So we are adding a fifth leg on, um, on, on excuse me, on prize picks, and we are adding a fifth leg on underdog as well. Now the payout is pretty extremely different between the two. Number one, so with a prize picks five pick flex, you can still um, get some sort of money back if you only win three plays. So you could lose two plays and still get 0.4x of your money back. Now, you're, you're still losing money. Like if you risk $10, you will only get $4 back. So you lose that $6. So you're still losing money. If you get uh, two plays incorrect, but on underdog, you lose in, you're in the entirety of your risk. So at least on price picks, they are giving you uh, $4 back. They are not doing that on underdog. So something to keep in mind. Now, if you lose only one play, you'll basically profit what the amount you risked was. So if I put in $10, I would get $20 in payout back. So I would profit $10 if I hit if I uh, hit four out of five. So if I miss exactly one, and then if I hit all five, I will 9X my money. I will turn 10 bucks into a payout of 100 bucks, profit of 90 bucks, 9Xing my money. In terms of underdog, the payout on a five out of five is the exact same. If you hit all five, you uh, get a payout of, of 10X, you nine times your money. The difference here, obviously, is the payout is higher on a um, if you hit four out of five. So if you hit four out of five, you will basically to get a payout of 2.5X. So if you risk $10, you get a payout of 25, a profit of 15. Whereas if you miss one leg on price picks, you're only getting... Um, your money, you're only profiting 1x, not 1.5x. Now, obviously, in, on, you're getting some sort of money back on, on, on price picks if you lose two legs, so there's a clear difference there. So in this case, we actually do need to go to the math. So a five-pick flex on price picks, the math is a little bit different. So if we assume, let's go back to a 60% um, win percentage just to keep things neutral, um, the value is pretty good on a prize picks five pick flex, right? I, I already went through the math in detail on a previous video, so again, keep that in mind. I'm not gonna do a high level math. Just know that um, the EV percent on a five pick flex is like, assuming a 60% win percentage is like 43%. It's really, really high. It's clearly the most profitable of all the different legs is a five pick flex on prize picks, EV of 43%. Now, if we go to underdog, and we go, we keep the percentage at um, 60. The EV percent is close, 42.56. So it goes from 43 down to 42.56. So a five pick one is slightly, slightly better on prize picks. The reason why, I mean, it's a huge deal over the course of time, being able to lose an extra play and still get some money back, right? You're not, you're still not getting the entirety of your risk back. So you're still losing some money. And that's calculated here, right? Like if you hit zero, one, or two of your player props, you will lose your risk. You'll lose all of your risk. So in this case, we're assuming risk is a hundred bucks. But if you hit three out of five, you at least get $40 back. So you're only losing 60 bucks. Whereas on underdog, you're losing the entirety of it. So that's a huge deal in terms of math. Now, the, the payout is slightly better on underdog if you hit four legs, but that doesn't really count obviously the, the being able to hit three legs and still getting some of your money back. So the in terms of value itself, it's slightly, slightly better on prize picks than it is on underdog. Like the five pick flex with without insurance, or excuse me, with insurance um, has the implied odds of minus 121. On prize picks, the implied odds are minus 119. So it's slightly better on prize picks than it is on underdog. It's, it's close. It's closer than it is on the other two, but it is slightly better on underdog. So to recap, the insurance on uh, underdog is better on three and four legs. And then on price picks, the insurance is a little bit better with five legs to kind of sum things up 
briefly. So hopefully this video made sense. Um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment and reach out and let us know if you have any questions. But as far as this video goes, that's all I got for you guys. Um, so I appreciate everybody watching and have a good one.